I found a little stock holding pool at the back of the office here. It's stunningly clear. I have never in my life, short of British Columbia, filmed anywhere with water as clear as this. And you want to see the fish in there. It's worth taking a look. The reason this water is so clear is because it is virtually filtered through the underground aquifers which is running through basically chalk, a chalk base. It takes any impurities out and gives a clar clarity of water that's hard to believe in some superb fish like this brown trout. Now, it said that there's more genetic variation in the UK brown trout than between the entire different tribes or population densities of the entire human race. And the brown trout do live for a long time, when they're left alone, up to 20 years. Now here is a rainbow trout in contrast. These are fast growing, they're brought on in the fish farm for anglers to catch in lakes, and that's why they like them. You can see that vermilion cheek and the pink flush along the side of the lateral line. That is the traditional rainbow trout. They're great scrappers, and in this water, when you see a fish like that come up to take your fly, it's something else to see. The brown trout is the one that interested me there though. And in 1928 in Switzerland, a 68 pound brown trout was netted in a lake. I mean, that doesn't even bear thinking about on a seven weight fly rod, does it? A new one really on the scene is the blue trout. Now this is a genetic variation discovered around 30 odd years ago and they're usually a sterile fish, but their fabulous color is caused by a pigment variation. This makes them attractive to anglers to catch and also attractive to cast to because you can realize they stand out in a lake. So they probably get more attention from anglers casting to them than let's say the brown trout, which is more mottled and can benefit from that camouflage being nearer the bottom of the lake bed and making it harder to see. The rainbow trout is the free biting trout of the British Isles. The brown trout will be the traditional one that anglers like to catch. I was just there in the Sussex countryside, marveling at the clarity of the water and the fantastic specimens of trout inside this fishery.